Okay guys, spring is just around the corner. If you're watching this in an office sales meeting right now or just on a one-on-one -on, -one on your computer or on your iPhone, here's the thing that I suggest that you do over the next 30 days because we're heading into spring. Right now, it's about getting face-to-face -face with people. With all my clients that I'm working with today, we're talking about a 30-day appointment challenge. Why? Because we wanna build the momentum, we wanna build the traction, and we need to start getting in front of people because people's moods are gonna start changing and they're gonna be wanting to list. And if you're not on the radar because you haven't been getting appointments, guess what? They're gonna to go to your competition. So I want you to set this challenge for yourself. The next 30 days, create a competition either with an accountability partner in your office or the whole office itself with the sales team. And if there's no one else, just be yourself. Have a challenge with yourself. Now, think about how many appointments do you wanna go on in the next 30 days? Write that number down. So I had one client who wrote down 30. Then every day, you need to be accountable to someone. You need to lift that accountability up and perhaps maybe send it to your wife, send it to your son, send it to a colleague in your office or send it to your coach and go one out of 30, two out of 30, three out of 30. And as you start to creep up with those numbers, you'll know you're getting closer and closer to that goal. Because when you've got that goal of 30 appointments that you wanna do, guess what happens? You start to focus really hard in getting in front of people. Now, how does this appointment challenge work? Really simple. It's not about 30 market appraisals. Because you're, I can see you right now, you're going, oh my God, Claudia, 30 appointments, 30 market appraisals, that's like huge. No. This is about just getting face to face with people. Remember, what game are we in? We're in the real estate game. We build relationships. We're out there to build rapport and we've got to meet people. And the most you can do is meet with a past client, perhaps meet with someone who can refer you business. Perhaps, maybe even meet with a buyer. Yeah, buyers. Remember buyers? Some agents are going, like buyers? I don't work with buyers. Buyers are liars, right? Take the mentality out and start having that fixed mindset and start maybe having some buyer appointments again. Private appointments, you build some rapport, and who knows, they might have something to sell. But here's the thing, my friends. You need to think about who can you go out and meet every day. If you went out on one appointment every day, let's just take it for the whole year, do you know how many appointments you'd be on? 220 appointments. Do you actually think your business could actually change from there? Absolutely. You would have a lot different business today than you would if you don't go out there with the intention, let me repeat that again, the intention to get a face-to-face -face appointment. So what I want you to start doing is, number one, focus on what a definition of an appointment sounds like to you. Number two, I want you to carry your best leads at all times. You'd call me old school or whatever else, but I used to have like a little laminated card with my top 10 hot sellers and my top 10 hot buyers. And I would carry that and I would ring them on a daily basis, not all of them, but some of them who I needed to reach out to. But I carried my best leads in my pocket each day. If you've got an iPhone today, we're in the digital technology, right? Carry it on your phone, but look at those people every day. The other thing that you wanna do is work on your skill, on confidence, on how can you close people in terms of getting an appointment, right? Don't just have the intention to make the phone call because if your intention is to get an appointment, guess what happens? The result, the universe pays and sets you an appointment. The other thing that you really wanna do is don't worry where that appointment comes from. If it's someone that you know, it's a family relationship member, whatever it may be, just go out there and start setting some appointments. But here's the thing as we finish up. Make sure at the end of the day, you put your scorecard with the number of appointments that you've booked in to someone. The power of reflection. That's number one. And number two is the power of completion. Good luck. If you think someone needs this advice or you wanna do an appointment challenge with someone in your office, Share this post, like it, and I'll catch you next time.